Alright, so for access into a canopy, when you're going to use a static line to access the canopy and then go from static line to doubled line, a lot of times the transition can, uh, can, can be the part that tends to slow someone down or in some cases it can be possibly the, the, the most dangerous part of the whole, of the whole climb because you've got to go from one system to another. For a lot of climbers and trees, that's, that's not necessarily the most natural thing that they do <clears throat> or something that they're used to. But to keep it in a way that is the most natural and the most familiar with uh, traditional tree climbing for guys that still use double line uh, systems, is to take your static line and place a Place it over the limb that in the canopy like you normally would, saying that was my limb up there. Have it come back down. Tie your bone like you would, as if you were going to connect into your hitch climber. And then come above that, you know, whatever distance you want, but make sure it's at least a foot or two above. Tie a midline knot like a butterfly, an alpine butterfly. And then clip a carabiner into it, clip it to the standing end, and haul it up. Now what that does is that one, as you ascend up, your hand ascender can't, you, can't you won't necessarily top out with your hand ascender, which can be a bad thing, because then it can be a really pain to get that off. But also, you don't, have to, you don't have to top out. You left yourself a tail that you can clip into. So what you're gonna do is, you'll tie your hitch climbing, your hitch on, like you normally would. So that's gonna be my hitch. Get a hand ascender. Place it on the line. Now on my hand ascender, I have a single length of uh, cord. In this case, it's eight mil, but usually I use a, a five mil cord. Um, on the end of it is gonna be your foot loop. Then you're gonna, you gotta measure it out so it takes a little bit of feel, but measure it out, get a midline knot, another, um, another alpine butterfly. Place carabiner to that, and then it runs up to your hand ascender terminating there. What you're going to do is you're going to take the part that has your alpine butterfly and you're going to clip it into your hitch, hitch climber pulley. Now what happens is when you step up on your foot ascender, not your foot loop, but your foot ascender, you can raise your hand ascender up. Let me move this down a little bit so you can see. When you step up in your, in your uh, foot ascender, you can pull your hand ascender up, and that'll tend your whole hitch upward. So we're going to say that I uh, I got up to my I got up to my uh, my tail end, and now I want to change over. Now this is the nice part about this this type of system for for using it for ascent is that I can easily do this. All, I'm, I'm caught on my hitch, so I don't have a problem there. I, I know I'm safe. So I can take off the midpoint connection from the cord itself to the hand ascender because I'm still connected into this part, into my hitch. I'm not going anywhere. And then all I got to do is stand up a little bit on my foot ascender and clip into the tail that I've already preset from the ground. Remove my hand ascender, stow it away however I want to do that, lower it down to the ground. And now I'm on my system. I can go to work. Now as soon as I get to my first crotch, where I can stand and I can land your in safely, I'm going to go ahead and remove my carabiner. I'll stow that away. And then I want to untie my butterfly. This way I know that I'm not going to get this stuck in the canopy anywhere and have it be later on a headache. Then I just want to make sure that I tighten up on my system so I'm caught into my climbing line, unlanyard, and then I can go back to work.